What the hell is going on guys? This is CSS for Beginners Lesson 20 and in this lesson we're going to take a look at the Hover, Visited and Active Pseudo Classes. That's coming up. Okay, so just a quick recap first of all. We said that Pseudo Classes are an extension to normal CSS. They come after the normal CSS selectors and we use them to target more specific things, okay? And they're split up into two groups, generally speaking. That is the behavioral group, which is to do with user interactivity on your web page, and the structural group, which is to target kind of advanced structural elements. Now, the syntax is here. You have your normal selector, then your colon, and then the keyword of your pseudo class, then your declaration. Okay, then, so now we've covered that, I want to jump into the code and play around with a few of these behavioral pseudo classes. <laughs> All right, guys, here I am back in the HTML, and I'm going to teach you probably three of the most popular behavioral pseudo classes, okay? And they're all to do with links. We're going to look at what happens when a link is hovered over by your mouse, when it's clicked in its active state, and when it's been visited, okay? So the first one we'll look at is the hover effect. So first of all, to look at our links, we're going to select all of the link tags, the A tags. Okay, so that's our link selector. And then we're gonna add our first pseudo class, which is the hover pseudo class. So we do our colon, then the hover keyword. That's the keyword, hover, okay? So we're saying here, we wanna style these A tags when they're hovered in this way. So I'm gonna give them a color of red, okay? So when you hover over a link, it should turn red. Now the second one we're gonna do is the active state, okay? And then the active state is when you click on the link itself. When you click down on your button on your mouse, for that moment before you go to the new web page, that link is active. So we're going to change the color of it for that moment. Okay, so the way we do that is by applying our pseudo class to the A tag again. And the keyword this time is active. Self explanatory. Really simple, guys. And we're going to color it orange. Okay. And then the third one we're going to do is the visited pseudo class. So same again, targeting all the A's. And the keyword is visited. Now, the way this works is. If you have a link on your web page and say by default it's colored blue or you style it blue initially, if a user clicks on that link, they have now visited that link. So if they come back to the page, that link will now display differently. Okay, so we'll give this a color of purple. So that's it, really simple. We've got three keywords here, hover, active and visited. They're probably going to be the ones you use most when it comes to links and uh, yeah, all really simple. So. When it's hovered over, it turns red. When it's active, it's orange. And when it's visited, it's purple. So let's view this in a browser now. Save that and open this up in Chrome. Okay, so here's our links. Now I've already used, I've already demonstrated this, which is why this is purple, okay? So initially it's uh, blue, then you hover over, it turns red, okay? Then you click it, oops, click it, you can see it's orange. Okay, and then after that, when you visited it, it goes purple. Okay, then. So that about covers it. You've got your three keywords here, hover, active and visited. Really popular ones, dead simple. We just apply the pseudo class keywords after the colon and we've styled those three events. All right, so that about covers it for this lesson. If you have any questions whatsoever about these pseudo classes, these three ones here, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try my best to answer that as soon as possible. Um, otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, like, share them and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to look at some more pseudo classes.